right, the last uh, high of that channel was $30 higher. And if it really starts to run into earnings, look how much room you have. So we're waiting. We're patiently waiting. And the last thing you want to do is be that spoiled kid from Christmas. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com weekend update show. Hope everybody is doing well. It is actually Friday, right? It's after the close. It is Friday. It is 5.52 and usually I would be nowhere near a computer right now, just kind of be uh, decompressing, but I'm recording the video today. It'll be out at some point uh, this weekend, because tomorrow I am getting my second uh, vaccine shot from the Pfizer shot at 8 o'clock, 8.45 in the morning. Uh, my wife got hers uh, in the beginning of the week, and she was really messed up for uh, a couple of days. She had 101 fever, all messed up. So if everything plays out right, uh, Saturday into Sunday, I'm going to be in bed recovering. So I kind of wanted to uh, get this video out and kind of get everybody ready uh, for the week. So let's talk about this. So I, I wrote this on Twitter, and, and um, I, I, think, I think it kind of plays out to the fact that kind of what the market did. It's kind of the tale of two markets. For the last couple of weeks, and we, you know, ever since we've reclaimed this whole major level on the NASDAQ 100, it felt like, and again, for all you guys who are very, very sensitive, close your ears, but it, it felt like it was a wild orgy in Caligula's palace, Right? Going crazy. Everything's going nuts. NVIDIA's breaking out. Amazon's going breaking out. Apple's breaking out. Tesla went absolutely out of its mind. And for the last couple of days, we've been in a really, really, really tight range. And it feels like grandma is creeping up on grandpa to see if it still works after 56 years of marriage. And that's kind of what it is. It feels like a lot of us were pretty spoiled over the last couple of weeks, right? We had these huge, huge moves and very, very aggressively, right? Amazon went nuts, uh, NVIDIA went nuts, and Apple went nuts, and Tesla finally broke out, we'll talk about that in a second, uh, went nuts for like 12 hours, right? So everything went crazy, so we were spoiled, right? We got our fix, we were like the crackhead that needed more, that needed more, that needed more. It's like the kid at Christmas that's completely spoiled and entitled. Mommy and daddy got the kid a bike. They got him the PlayStation 5. The kid got a brand new baseball bat. They got him a new basketball. And the kid sits there and goes, what's next? What else did I get? What else did I get? It's a spoiled kid. And, and you know, we've been spoiled, right? We've been spoiled with the action uh, for the last couple of weeks. And for the last couple of days, has been painfully slow, at least in beta land, right? Um, again, my world is surrounded by mega, you know, mega cap uh, technology names, you know, and I, I get it. I appreciate it. everybody's with the coin base and the dog coin and the cap coin and all. Again, okay, yeah, that's not for me, right? It's not, not hating on it, right? If it's all power to you. Who's better than you? You want to buy the dog coin, the cat coin, uh, the, you know, everything in between, it's up to you. That's nothing to do with me. To each his own, uh, the eyes and the beholder, right? All that stuff. But for the last couple of days, the beta world has been pretty dead. And when I say dead, I mean really, really dead. So I got to give the Bulls a, a lot of credit. If you guys watched uh, the video on Wednesday night, we had this really, you know, pretty tiresome kind of blow off uh, candle on the NASDAQ 100. And it took out the previous day's low and it closed below the five day moving average. We were tired. You, you could see it in the way the stocks were acting. They were very, very tired. And came Friday, excuse me, came Thursday, and the market could have easily rolled over. Every excuse in the book to roll over, we're tired, you know, the stocks have run up so, so fast. And what happened to the bull's credit, they didn't take out the previous day's low and actually went higher. The problem with the bulls going higher, at least from the my world, nothing went higher with it. And if you look at, and this was, was very, very frustrating. When you look at the Dow on Thursday, it was up 300. When you look at the NASDAQ, it was like, right, really flat. And when you look at every single chart, and it kind of, you know, it really does show you, 
Amazon's been kind of flat here for the last three days. It looks like it's ready to go. We'll and we'll talk about that in a second. It looks like it's ready to go for next week. Get some really, really good aggressive call buying. But you could see it, it's done nothing for the last three, four days, but kind of blow off this little, little short-term top level. Came in pretty aggressively. And the good news is kind of going sideways. But if you look at names like, for example, uh, like an Apple that had a big, big move, especially on the 60-minute view, this is this is the last three days, right? Doing absolutely nothing. This is obviously fake, right? This is absolutely nothing going sideways. You look at Netflix, and Netflix kicks off earnings season uh, on Tuesday for beta names, has gone done absolutely nothing. Matter of fact, went sideways, came in, went sideways, came in, and now it's going sideways. When you look at Facebook, they're all going sideways. So you can kind of get the point. So if you are focused on beta for the last several days, you just sat there and went like this, like literally went like this. But you know what? That's a good thing, right? And, and I've, I've kind of reiterated that point uh, over and over again uh, in the webinar. We've been doing this. I've been hosting this live webinar for the last 11 years. But what's great about trading in your your time horizon, okay? Number one, you have to get rid of the whole social media environment. This stock is popping, that stock is popping, this is going, that is going, and you look and you turn around and say, well, wait a minute, how could every single stock be going? How could everybody be in something and everything and my stock's not moving? What am I doing wrong? So you start getting this FOMO, and you start getting this itch, and you start to sweat, and you're starting to chase performance on names that you would never realize in a million years that they were even suitable to you, and you're getting nowhere, right? You're absolutely getting nowhere. And let's be honest, we're all looking at the same market. You're either trading technology, you're looking at technology, or you're talking about technology. And I promise you, right? I promise you, if I'm looking at Netflix, Johnny from Utah and uh, you know Jimmy from Maryland looking at Netflix exactly the same way. So the problem with the whole social media experience is you're so tuned in what somebody else is doing, you're losing sight of what you should be doing. And a lot of times when we start looking at stock market from the point of the small universe that we've created, again, my small universe is beta. Your, you know, your universe could be crypto or, or munis or uh, e-minis or futures or crypto, whatever it is. What you should be doing is concentrating on your part of the world, trying to get your piece of the pie instead of looking at everything else. Because when you start looking at everything else, the natural emotion of chasing other people's performance starts to kick in. And instead of waiting for that really good premium setup, for example, like on, on Amazon on a daily channel or looking at a Tesla, right? For example, on a 60 minute view, and you can see the channel very, very clearly, you start trading stuff like this, like a Cove or what was that stock today? C-L-O-V, right? You start chasing this and then you start doing doggy coins and this, that, the other thing. And you're probably not going to get anywhere because this is not your comfort zone, right? You're, this is not something that you know the momentum, you know uh, the rational measured moves, you know the average shoe range. Instead, you're guessing and you're hoping to God that instead of your stocks being out of favor, you're trying to compete with somebody else's channel and somebody else's lane and somebody else's comfortability. And that's a really good recipe for Really not getting rid of your FOMO, okay? Keeping your, you know, keeping your anxiety, uh, keeping your irrational thinking because you're always trying to play catch up. And when you look at the big picture, you're omitting it, what you're good at and all of a sudden trying to replicate what somebody else is doing. And I think that's a very, very big no-no. And, and matter of fact, I know a lot of traders who in the last few days started trading these weird stocks, right? Started trading uh, somebody else's comfort zone, somebody else's lane, and they got absolutely nowhere. But what they did do in the process, they burned brain cells, they burned mental equity, and now they're exhausted going into the weekend, sitting to themselves, hoping and praying that something happens. Now, if you look at the ranges right now in the queues, you can see how tight they've been, right? It's, 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 it's a very, very tight channel, especially today. I mean, there was absolutely nothing going on. There was one channel today that I missed uh, when I went to lunch, there was an $11 candle in the middle of, of lunch on Tesla, but that was it. I mean, that was absolutely it for the whole day. But you know what? That's okay. And what started with an orgy in Caligula's Palace and this whole wild butt sex, yes, you know, storks do not bring your baby. Everybody has it. Um, some more than others. Thank God some of you guys are single. But the point is, you know, but the point is when it did turn into grandma and grandpa after 56 years of marriage, you have to be an adult, right? You have to be an adult. You have to say to yourself, look, I'm going to get value. 
there's a range here somewhere in the queues, components of the queues, that something is going to give. We're either going to start taking down the bottom of the channel here or start confirming this linear regression line. But my time will come, right? I remember the orgy. I get it. Caligula was a great host, some great wine, some great you know, pigs in the blanket. We get it, right? But our time will come. So you have to wait for your sweet spot. You have to wait for your uh, designated area of comfort to kind of wake up with it again. Because when it does wake up, all these doll coins and parrot key coins, and every coin in the middle is going to be noise. It's going to be irrelevant. You're going to be back in your comfort zone. You're going to be back with the warm sweater, with that cozy pair of socks. You're going to be ready to strike instead of kind of trying to get back your mental equity and trying to get back um, your, your mental chips that you've burnt on other things that you're not comfortable with only to try to fight back on names you are. So kind of going into this week, we know the levels, right? I think we have to respect the levels. Uh, a lot of people believe that the next catalyst for beta, and again, it's resting, resting really, really great after this big breakout uh, off the 50-day moving average. But I believe, and, I, and I, there's, there's some truth to it, a lot of people believe that the next move in beta is going to be earnings, right? You have uh, Netflix coming out with earnings on Tuesday, that's going to kick off earnings season, and for the least for beta. And then the following week, you have the mega Super Bowl. You have Apple and Facebook and Amazon and all that good stuff and Tesla. Uh, so you have a lot, a lot of uh, data to digest. And maybe then we'll get a very clear point of what's going to happen next short term. Again, betting on the charts. You look like we're going to go higher, but again, we're not supposed to bet on the futures, right? We're not fortune tellers. We're going to let the market dictate to us exactly what's going to happen next. So, is it possible, right? If you are, and you know, if you are a Facebook trader or an Apple trader or a Square trader, is it possible that Monday and Tuesday you're going to be sitting there and go like this? My God, remember that orgy? I remember that orgy, but that's the whole point. Memories, you're storing your mental back. You, all you're doing is waiting for that next invitation, right? Your next clean path, your next channel to open up. And when it does open up, it's magnificent. And again, all you need to do is reference the technical analysis, right? This was it, right? This was the breakout here. Apple was the breakout here, right? Apple was the breakout here. Amazon was the breakout here. Tesla was the breakout uh, was the breakout here. Now we're waiting for the next signal. And if it's all the same to you, Let's get that slow pitch softball, right? Let's not look at the, you know, look at stuff that we're not comfortable with. We have no uh, history with and no relationship with. Now, there's some names that actually look pretty good, right? There are definitely names uh, that look pretty good. Look, look at some of these drug names, right? Or at least uh, uh, these bio names. Uh, NVAX first close over the 50-day moving average. You know, look at that NVIDIA and all that stuff. Uh, when they took out the 50-day. This is strong. This is a very strong channel. Uh, look at a Gilead, right? Look at a Gilead setup, right? It's starting to come out of a range here. Uh, look at eBay, right? Look at eBay, right? Big, big channel. You're talking about a distribution going all the way back to February uh, the 4th. Big channel. Again, this looks good. So we're going to at least start the week looking at other things, right? Start the week looking at maybe second or third tier groups, but at least let's have a good viable channel, a good daily reference point that at least we could trade off. And once these other names that we've been comfortable with, uh, that we have a great history, once they start waking up, again, who's better than you, right? Like look at Tesla. You had big, big bets rolling in for Tesla going to this week. Look at this channel on Tesla, right? You notice it stopped once, it stopped today twice in exactly the same channel. If this thing takes out the channel here, it's going to wake up. You have Amazon, you know, behaved really, really well. You had some really good, big, aggressive call buying coming in uh, for next week, for, for, for the end of the month. Look at this. You can see a really clean channel here. If this thing, it's going to wake up. It's like a gold 50 cents, right? The last uh, high of that channel was $30 higher. And if it really starts to run into earnings, look how much room you have. So we're waiting. We're patiently waiting. And the last thing you want to do is be that spoiled kid from Christmas. Wow, mom, I love my, my, my new uh, bike. What else you got? Mom, I love my Sony PlayStation 5. What else you got? What do you mean you only made cup cupcakes? I love cookies. Where are my cookies? Don't be a brat, right, guys? Don't be a brat. Take it all in stride. 
always think of the long game. It's not about today, right? It's about storing information, gathering data, and acting when it spotlights your process. You'll, you'll be in a lot better place. You'll be a lot more relaxed. You're not going to be jumping the gun, uh, being in, in relationship with other names you've never heard before and getting very random results. Stick to what you know, right? Stick to your guns. Stay in your lane. God bless everybody. Hopefully, I won't catch like 109 fever <laughs> tomorrow, and hopefully, I'll see you guys in one piece on Monday. Guys, have a great, great weekend. I wish you all the best. God is love and God's help. I'll see you all on Monday. Take care.